Hey folks, welcome back to Let's Play Secret of Mana. I'm the Mysterious JG. See if I can actually record two videos without my laptop deciding so it doesn't have enough space. Because I think I finally got that fixed. Alright, RBYG I wrote down. I guess that's red, blue, yellow, green. So let's uh, continue on our merry way. Apparently we're going to have a little... We have a little break there with a... Uh, but not a place to rest up or anything, just a place to upgrade weapons. <laughs> Did he blow himself up for 70 damage? What a silly duck. He just don't give a duck. <laughs> it's funny because it rhymes with the dirty word. Alrighty, and I love the little cat skeleton that all enemies, regardless of whether they are cats or ducks, make. Okay, well, I wasn't really done exploring at this one anywhere. Oh, I'm crying out loud. A little froggy friend. Okay, so it, it doesn't go anywhere. So we are good to go. And that thing has babies fast. Babies are the different species than the what it belongs to. Whack this thing enough that it stops having babies? Okay. I guess whacking things doesn't necessarily stop them having babies. Depends on what you mean when you use the term whack. And somehow the word whack is now reminding me. This came up today earlier. I was just. When I say it came up, I, I don't know why I was thinking about it today. It wasn't really a conversation with anyone because I had a very coronavirus y day of just being on my own, but. I was reminded of my favorite rap song of all time, which comes from a Sprite commercial featuring Kid and Play. And that uh, rap lyric is... <clears throat> Let me just make sure I do it justice here. My name is Play, and I'm not just playing. I like the Sprite. You know what I'm saying? Kind of did mess that up a little bit there. But yeah, it's my name is Play, and I'm not just playing. I like the Sprite. You know what I'm saying? And I do know what he's saying. He's saying that he likes Sprite. <laughs> to me, that's like... I don't know, that's so comically bad. It's it's my favorite rap line of all time. Let's see if I can drop down there. I should get to take a refreshing bath. Let's see, as long as you guys aren't being aggressive, I'll charge up a super attack here. I should have saved it. Alright, little man. We know that one blast of level 7 Dark Force takes these guys out, so let's just do it. Before can summon a million of these guys. We opened up a different uh, force field from the one we might have been led to expect would open. Why you would put the key to this, or the, the switch to deactivate this force field right here. Gameplay mechanics, it doesn't make sense. And real world mechanics might be like, oh, we only want that door to be open from the other side. doesn't end up reflecting back on all the, the enemies. It's, what the hell? It's not healing the people. Avatar is the guy who needed to be healed. Suddenly he can't be healed? Is that the... Is that the wrong... It's the wrong one. Oh, I'm an idiot. So there was no reflect on before. Oh, I'm an idiot. I used the... I used the... Their uh, status ailment removing spell. Okay, so that's the last video. 
Which means there was a good two days of it being online. I'm recording this immediately after the last one. For you guys, there was two days for people to say, You're using the wrong spell, you fool! She's wasting more MP that she doesn't really have to spare. Matter of fact, it's probably not even worth using this spell on this guy, but I just like knowing that, um... And, this, and we know Captain Duck has magic because he uses, a uh, Burst on us occasionally. He's got the little Zhu Huang uh, helicopter attack going there. Okay, so... It's acting like we're trapped here. But we just all have to get on that thing and then move up. But, uh, I'm not sure that we got everything in that room. Fine, we'll Dark Force you. Unless you're, like, immune to it. It's a pretty powerful spell considering how many MPs it costs once you got it up to level 6. It's possible I missed some treasure chests in uh, that last room. And the, there's not that many treasure chests that are permanent to be had in this game, but when you do get them, they tend to be weapon upgrades that I don't know of a lot of other ways to get. Is this like some kind of monitor where I can do a mid-mission shopping. Yeah. Well, actually, we got the whip upgraded. We should be, uh, having the little boy use a whip. That seems healthy. Because it's like, uh, yeah, it's a hammer flail now. I always think of it as the girl's whop it, but she's already in the midst of leveling something up. The Mono Wizard gets whacked. Maybe using Dark Force on this guy has been a waste of MPs. We can just beat him up. But they didn't seem to have a really high evade rate before. Screw it. Dark Force him. Dark Force release. Then we'll do a quick uh, save state, because I'm curious if you get penalized in any way for getting this code wrong. Doesn't look like it. Red, blue, yellow, green. Oh, maybe, maybe putting it in wrong just permanently locked me into something bad. Not permanently, I'd probably have to leave the room and come back, but... Red. Blue. Oh! I don't think I even did it last time, I think I just... I did red, did, did red and then red again, and it counted that as two reds in a row, which it was trying to tell me it was wrong. What would have been this way? Continue down here where we probably didn't really want to go. Yep, I'm pretty sure of it. Well, we just saved, so it's okay, but I'm thinking this just takes this that whole area that I couldn't get to before. It's just here, and you're not supposed to you only come here if you screw up, it looks like. I think that's what it is. All right, save state abuse, ahoy. Red. See, and even if you didn't remember the password, I bet you anything, it just, if it makes anything other than that noise, you know you got it wrong and you restart and you just do it by process of elimination. All right. Boy, I'm so smart, I'm figuring out these puzzles in a game for little, little kids. I said little boys, this is not 
assuming the gender of the player. He was actually fairly friendly to female players before they really made a big point of marketing specifically to girls. These metal crawlers don't give a crap about Dark Force, actually. Don't even think about it, punk. And now this should have gone away, yep. I actually did manage to figure out where we were there, surprisingly enough. I'm trying to use our weapons here just to get some stuff leveled up. But I think if you're killing if you're killing stuff just to level up weapons, there's really no point fighting high-end enemies because I think your levels your weapon levels I think increase when you kill enemies, period, by the same amount. And I might be wrong about that. And I'm really not that worried about it to tell you the truth. Remember this enemy, this enemy type being a big pain in the butt in Psychon and Ned's Etsy 3, which I have played more recently than the original Secret of Mana, even though it was never really released in the USA. It probably got released like 10 times on portable systems decades after I would have known or cared, because I. But you know what I'm getting at. It wasn't an SNS title. I played a fan translation of it on uh, an emulator. Fancy little jumping slash from the avatar. Ooh. Oh, here we go. Subway system. They used to exist in things called cities. Yeah, I see where that's great, pal. Oh no, it's a bunch of zombies. It's very sad. I was watching uh, Jeopardy tonight, and I didn't make the joke in my little chat I have with my parents, but, um,. I kept thinking, like, oh, it's zombie Alex Trebek, because they recorded a bunch of episodes before he died that they're airing now. The category is... Tonight's final cate Jeopardy category is... Brains! I like Alex Trebek. I'd like to think he has a sense of humor. <laughs> he might have thought that was a rather tasteless. The final Jeopardy category is... Brains! Candy won't fit, so you must acquit. I'm just curious if they're called ghouls, not particularly creatively. I doubt that these guys fear shade as their primary weakness. They're the undead, but... They're not really presenting much of a problem. I probably want to stop talking too much before those little tomato guys show up and spawn more of them. It's actually the best uh, practice for Wapits we're having, if what I said was correct, and defeating lots of enemies rather than lots of difficult enemies is the way to do it. I mean, I'm leveling this sword up, right? Yeah, Masumune is almost leveled up for Avatar. Uh, is this some kind of the infinite train, and we need to get off? Uh try these doors out that I've been ignoring. What was I just saying? Eggplant man. He's an eggplant wizard. Don't play the words the pinball wizard. That weird purple kid who uh, serves as an icon that represents a penis. Sure plays a mean pinball. Doo -doo. Sure plays a mean eggplant. That guy did a lot of damage to us there, actually. I 
Unless that was us hurting him and I didn't realize. I don't like you guys and I don't feel like fighting you. Wow. Uh, assuming that's the other side of the same wall, that was a much longer train on the inside than it was on the outside. It's a TARDIS train. Alright, Ninja Man, good job. You're, you're the, the champion of everything. I don't even care about it. You're not even going to bother to cast a spell to get rid of you. Just, just get out of the way. Oh, he's dispelled magic that we don't have on us. Even though for a while I thought we had a wall on us because I don't know how to cast the correct spells. This is a big dungeon for this game. Hell of a fall that we just took there. I think we probably want to go this way. Oh, wow. Team Rocket again. Hey, you! You! I don't know how that happened. I did some nosing around. Seems this kid is a legendary knight. Ha <laughs> ha, what a joke. How could you have found that blade? Hand it over. Yeah. We're gonna be rich, boss. Shut up and go get it. Super Special Deluxe Robot Type 2 with Turbo. Kettlekin. What are they doing here? They're like the recurring villains that they couldn't bother to make recur more than this one time. Oh well, it's to be on the safe side. Let's heal everybody up. I don't think this is the last boss in the zone, but we've got, uh, we've got Fairy Walnuts. I'm thinking if it has an elemental weakness, it's probably, um, Lightning, because it's a robot, right? Although in some games, Lightning powers robots up. I'm not sure why Lightning would really do anything that- it supposedly overloads their circuitries in some games. Oh, but Lucid Berry, does that make it immune to physical or magic? Well, you know, I can actually find out. I have the technology. Weapon attacks. Okay, so we need to use magic, and it didn't reveal itself as having a, a weakness. So let's try, um... Well, first of all, let's try... the right spellcaster. No, what the hell? Let's try lightning. I just hammered her right in the frickin' head. Probably don't want to do more than two of those in a row, because I'll... If I chained three, it would do more than nine... Yeah, there you go. That's over. Okay, that wasn't really much of a boss fight, but... 999 is the maximum damage output for a single attack in this game, so when you use that technique, all reminded me of to hit multiple spell casts in a row. You just want to be careful you don't chain more than 999 damage you're wasting MPs. Way to go! Got bows over there. That's my old daddy! Too strong! He's the real knight! What idiot said he wasn't the knight? Let's scram! Yeah! And that's it for them, the recurring villains that show up once and then show up a second time with no real explanation for why. See, this is a weird little dungeon, actually. So now we're back to that outside zone. Are we? Oh, well, I guess we are. Now we can actually advance here. We couldn't before, or did we not really get here before? I'm, I'm not sure if we're at the same place, really. Did we lower a um, stairs that wasn't there before? Well, 
Battle Jam Morph Fifth. Dude, the sword gets whacked. Ooh. That's the heck hound. Going. Ooh. Except there's some other howler and the heck hound. I guess the more powerful one is the heck hound. Curious what he's called, really. I don't think I'm gonna waste magic on him. <laughs> it's a crazy motor motorbike turtle. See, I don't know what the correct way to advance is, and it's making me nervous that we're wasting a lot of time energy. Come on, kid. Come on, Bo Daddy. Get up here for crying out loud. All right. There might be rooms here where we can actually rest up. But uh, if we can, it's not this place. And no matter where we go, half characters get stuck on corners. This might be a deal where we've got different little rooms that represent elements and. Um, Come on, Marl wannabe girl, you're almost there. See, that game, Chrono Trigger, which, honestly, I had that on my list to play. I know it's going to sound like a weird thing to point out, especially because I, he is actually watching this series, or he was. I was thinking about playing that, and then Ald played it, so I decided not to play it, which is ridiculous, because there's like a billion Secret of Mana LPs out there, and I might come back to it now. Because a lot of the stuff that I would be playing, like, oh, I'll do another Warriors game, I'll do another Mega Man game, a lot of it's kind of off the table because of the neuropathy. I'm really kind of terrible right now at any games that require careful command inputs. So a game like Chrono Trigger, where I don't really need to do precision uh, controls, might be just the ticket. Oh, never mind. I guess these rooms are kind of important, and I was probably supposed to be noticing this in the room that we bypassed before. Rundines, magic will work. Distant sound. When I woke up this morning, I heard a disturbing sound. It's Chapter Black. Alright, I've got rid of that. But yeah, so I'm not like trying to blame All Dragon for me not playing Chrono Trigger, just saying it was already kind of on my mind, uh, which is why I, maybe I'm thinking about Marl instead of. Because we named her Nina in this game. I intended to get back to my old habit. Man, one of these days, if I go back and rewatch my old LPs, I want to rewatch my 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 uh, Breath of Fire and Breath of Fire 2 LPs. That's where some of my best uh, Nina and the Avatar dialogue comes from. But, um... What was I getting at here? Yeah, um... The girl in this game does not... Like, Marl has personality. You might find her to be, like, an annoying... Like, oh, she's the Super NES version of the Manic Pixie Dream Girl. But she definitely actually has personality. <laughs> Which, uh... The girl in this game... Has a very few... There's very little plot in this game of our characters getting personality. To the extent they do... She's got a very Marl-ish personality, actually. She's supposed to be cute and everything, but she also just screams and pitches fits when she doesn't get her way. <laughs> Gnome's magic will work. Mm -hmm. Hopefully it doesn't require a specific one. Oh, another one of you guys showed up, eh? Well, you know what? If nothing else... 
You should have MP. And that's kind of something that's useful to get from you, so let's get it. And let's get Nina. Come on, Nina. I wanna kill those wolves! Uh, get your hands up here, bitch! <laughs> Come with me, I'm those bags up here! It's a good, uh, let's play me some Breath of Fire 4. Try to get to that before Ald can and wreck, uh, wreck my streak is the only person who'd let's play Breath of Fire 4. Just totally untrue. Um, Although if I do play Breath of Fire 4 after he does, that, that means I can be guaranteed of not having any Wizand of Kato style um, cribbing going on. Alright. This is probably what, uh, probably one of the things that was accomplished by hitting a, a block there in those other rooms is that we can reach here. Yeah, this is kind of a... I don't object to this design uh, for this dungeon, but... I'm kind of glad they didn't get to, to doing this gimmick uh, until now. Like, I don't need a whole lot of this kind of, like, okay, you gotta unlock four different things at four different places. Like, we don't need much of that. One or two dungeons like this is fine. I don't need the whole game to work this way. Especially because you can't, it's like, okay, if that's your mechanism for checking to make sure that the player has gotten all the things we want them to get, fine, but you can't actually get this far without all the spirits that you would need to get past this. It's, it just feels like busy work a bit, you know? And this will be the Salamando one, I would guess. Then again, didn't we have a room earlier that looked like this and it wasn't Salamando? I don't know. It's gonna be time to call it a video pretty soon here. And it's Salamando. I should have trusted my gut. It is, after all, pretty prodigious. And once we defeat it, a magic book will show up. Let's, uh... National Scar. Alright, let's see what this does for us. It's pretty easy to lose track of how much damage your party has taken in this game, too. We do have a couple of uh, magics that we haven't used to unlock one of those things yet, so... Uh, green would be wood spirit, probably, but I'm just going to do the sensible thing and actually check. Analyzer is not an expensive spell, I'm going to need... Oh, very well, not for her anywhere. Oh, it's Lumina anyway, so see, I would have been wrong. Yeah, but this is like half of the Lumina magic we got left here. I woke up this morning and I heard a disturbing sound. It was the coming of the Lord. I think I'm misquoting the Blues Brothers is what I'm doing there. It's gonna turn out to be a mimic or something? I guess no, we couldn't have lifted it up. It was. Oh, a sword orb, okay. Oh, that's nice. Now this is gonna be shade. Because I remember those like this shade of blue, which is a pretty cool design choice, I thought. Represents the flames of darkness in this game. Unless it doesn't, but I think it does. Yeah, it does. 
I'm gonna bother to draw magic out of you. I think we're fine. Okay. I just warped on over. This is pretty involved here. And there isn't even a new spirit awaiting us at the end because we got all the mana spirits now. Eventually, plot things will happen and we'll get one more uh, magic out of the wood sprite. But um, until that happens, we're just enjoying two spells for each caster from the wood sprite. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. This feels like it's got to be progress. So we're going to call it a video, and when we come back next time, the progress will be explored, and we'll find out just how wonderful this progress really and truly is. And I'll even cut off the video and not have it be on for a few seconds before I realize it doesn't actually cut off. Bye-bye.